Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. For the MCAT, I believe it's very important to be familiar with this progression from an alkane to a carbon dioxide in terms of reduction and oxidation. The traditional way to think about oxidation versus reduction is that reduction is a gain of electrons and oxidation is a loss of electrons, as you'd remember using the acronym OIL rig. Oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. There's another way that you should be able to think about oxidation versus reduction. And this is in terms of bonds to hydrogen versus bonds to oxygen. As a compound gains bonds to oxygen, we consider it as being oxidized which should make perfect sense because the word oxidized comes from the word oxygen. So as we add more bonds to oxygen, we are oxidizing a compound. In contrast, when we add bonds to hydrogen, we are reducing a compound. Now based on that, it should follow that if you're removing bonds to oxygen, you're reducing something. And if you're removing bonds to hydrogen, you're oxidizing something. So as a summary, to oxidize something, you can either add bonds to oxygen or remove bonds to hydrogen. To reduce something, you can either add bonds to hydrogen or remove bonds from oxygen. So if we look at this image, as we proceed from the left to the right, the compound is becoming more oxidized. And you'll notice that in each step, as we go from left to right, we're adding a bond to oxygen. So bond to oxygen is being added. And as we go from right to left, you'll notice that a bond to hydrogen is being added. And we can also say that as we go from left to right, we're removing bonds to hydrogen. And as we go from right to left, we're removing bonds to oxygen. And in this case, the question is asking us about an alcohol being oxidized. So we're starting with this alcohol, and we are oxidizing it once to become an aldehyde, and once again to become a carboxylic acid. For this reason, answer choice D is the correct answer here. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page to request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.